Hello, everyone. Today, I'm going to start talking about templated components. It's also under the topic of communication between components because the parent component needs to pass some a template to the component, to the child component. So <clears throat> this is the documentation from Microsoft regarding the templated component. And there are three key factors within a templated component. The first one is render fragment, right? This type of parameter. The second one is a parameter that is a generic type list. And the third one is a render fragment with a generic type, with the same generic type. So the three of them, they don't need to exist in the templated component in order to make it work. Uh, so today I'm going to only talk about the render fragment. Um, and then future videos are going to cover uh, the other two. This is the Visual Studio server side template from Visual Studio. Uh, it's just nothing new and let's build it and run it. <coughs> and as you can see, it's just the default template of Blazor server side. And let's uh, talk about what is the purpose of having a templated component. In my opinion, templated component gives the developers the ability to provide some sort of template to the component itself. And the component also provides some sort of layout, right? So this is more on the UI side. The functionality is mostly on the consumer side, right? So the consumer of the component, which is the parent of the component, are going to provide more functionality. And uh, the component itself provides more layout, right? So let's take an example that uses the render fragment, right? So uh, the re render fragment, fragment itself is uh, a it's used as a, a as a type of a parameter right and this parameter is basically a when when you use it it's going to be a wrapper of some html let's have an example so that it's easier to explain to it's easier to explain so let's take a look, look at boma right so for Boma to have this field, what it needs to do is to have this, this much HTML. So if I copy this and paste it over to our, let's create a component. Actually, let's just use it um, on the counter. Actually use it on the index, right? And delete this survey control and paste it over here uh, we need our boma css which is not in here so i'm going to copy this over to blazor 4 and then we're going to go to our host and copy this right. and that's it all right so we have our boma <coughs> in here and this is going to work i believe all right, so let's go to this uh, Blazor 4 and refresh. Uh, it's uh, the home control, right? So you see this, right? But if we go back and we look at this, well, yeah, so this is, it looks pretty good, right? It looks pretty neat, the style is what, what we like. But then what's what's gonna happen when you have many views on the form? So you, you have to, sorry, you have to kind of copy paste and this whole thing, right? So suppose we have name is over here. So we have name, uh, we have title, and we have department, right? So for only three fields, look how many lines of HTML from line number nine 
to line number 44. So it's, it's getting crowded with just three filled, right? So what, what can we do to make this, uh, the number of uh, lines of uh, uh, HTML shorter, more compact? So we can actually make a component by utilizing the render fragment, right? So let's let's do that. Let's create a, a component, and I want to create a controls folder and create a component under the control folder. So let's go over here and uh, go to component, and then let's call this build component, right? <clears throat> so, and then what we need is this. Let's copy and paste it over here and see how we can uh, make it easier. So we need to provide a name of the label, right? So that means we need a parameter and a public property with a string type. And that's, um, let's call that uh, label name or let's just call it label, okay? And um, we also need input to be somehow in there. But this input, it cannot be inside the field component because it may not be just an input control, it can be maybe a radio button, right? So you don't know the type, it's better to be provided from outside. And here is why we need to use a render fragment, right? So we can take this out and then we create a special parameter. We call it, uh, we call it, uh, so it's going to be also a property and this has to be render fragment. Okay, and today we are not gonna cover the one with the generic type. Um, so, and here it's going to be called, let's call it control, okay? And what we can do here is, is that we render this render fragment right over here. Right? When we do this, Blazor framework will recognize that this control is a render fragment. Therefore, it's going to render the HTML that the consumer or the, the parent control provides to the child control. Okay, so with this, Right. What we can do instead of having uh, these number lines of go, we can have it way shorter. Oops, sorry. Uh, we can go over here and uh, we can use our build. Actually, let's import that namespace uh, so that we can see it get over here and then if we enter again you can see we have that and then we provide the label and uh, we call a name right we do the three fields and then uh, what we can do here is it's supposed to be okay so it's the IntelliSense is not working very well so uh, here we have this right and control inside here we can have this input right and placeholder well of course it's the name and then we copy this three times and this is gonna be title right title and this is depart mint right and look we completed the three fields with only about a little bit more than 10 lines of HTML okay so let's delete all of these we don't need them anymore and let's go back oh all right, so we forgot to change. Oh, we forgot to add the title label here. So uh, it's label, right? 
going back, refresh. <coughs> okay, cool. So we have this. All right, so we just learned how to use the render fragment by creating a field component, right? And this field component can be used everywhere else um, whenever you want to create a field. And uh, let's just summarize what we need to do in order to uh, use the render fragment so that the developer can provide uh, a template for your component to use, right? So it's actually pretty easy. You create a component, right? And you create a special parameter that the, the type of the parameter is render fragment. And then you use this in the HTML markup place where you want to render that template. And then when you use it as a, a child component from a parent component, you just um, declare it as HTML and then use that render fragment parameter as a HTML. Instead of use it as a parameter like label, you use it as HTML. Right, and then within that wrapper with the render fragment, provide your actual HTML. Then Blazor is going to render this HTML inside here to replace the render fragment parameter. All right, that's everything for today. And if you like my videos, Please give it a like and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching.